The incredible natural beauties and picturesque landscapes of this multifaceted and one-of-a-kind country are on par with the astounding man-made attractions that the country is home to. There is such a wide range of things to see and do there, from sand dunes that sing to some of the largest statues in the entire world. A desert is a wide region and a desolate tract of land that has very little vegetation, extremely few plants, very little to no rainfall, and dry air. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about China's unbelievable desert farming that shocked the world. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. Maowusu Desert Because 93.24% of a big desert in Shaanxi province in the northwest of China has become verdant, the desert has been wiped off the map entirely. The Maowusu Desert, which is sometimes referred to as the Muus Desert, was formerly a treeless wasteland with no cropland and a limitless supply of yellow sand. People from the area planted trees, which resulted in the creation of a lovely forest. Ordo City in North China's Inner Mongolia region and Yulin City are separated by the Maowusu Desert, which has a total area of around 42,200 square kilometers and is located on the boundary between the two cities. The Maowusu Desert is to the south of Yulin, where the city of Yulin can be found. Sandstorms that came from the north drove the city of Yulin to relocate three times in the direction of the south many years ago. On the other hand, the residents of the area were not going to ignore the problem and do nothing about it. They spent many years planting trees, and as a result, they were able to successfully spread the greenery 400 kilometers further north. By the end of the month of May, they want to have planted seedlings across a desert area that is 400 hectares in size. Number 9. China's Man-Made Forest in the Desert the city of Aksu, which is located on the outskirts of China's largest desert, the Taklamakan, and whose name literally translates to the place of no return, is taking the lead in this environmental crusade. In spite of the fact that it is one of the world's largest moving sand dunes, its total area is just marginally less than that of Germany. When Aksu was younger, she spent most of the year buried beneath several feet of sand. The drought that has been going on for an extended period of time has hampered economic growth and thwarted various attempts to extract groundwater. You couldn't open your eyes when the dark wind swept across the land, said Gan Yongjin, who was 48 years old at the time. He stated that the dark wind may be seen gathering many kilometers away and that when it arrives, it will obstruct your view of everything. So you will need to find a place to hide. Gan has been actively involved in the Kakia Green Project for the past 30 years. This initiative is one of the efforts that were initiated in 1986 by local governments in an effort to alleviate the suffering caused by persistent dust storms. Experts in the fields of engineering, geography, and other disciplines were consulted in order to map the area and locate potential water sources. The group was also entrusted with looking for ways to turn sand into soil that was rich enough for plants to take root in it. After the water is poured, it will stay on the surface for 8 to 10 days without penetrating the soil, Gan recounted. This would continue until the water evaporated. The high alkaline content of the soil was significantly beyond the amount that most plants could tolerate, causing the roots of the plants to progressively corrode and be consumed by bacteria. Agriculture has evolved into a fundamental component of the regional economy. Now, people all across China associate Aksu with its tart and chewy apples, while other products such as walnuts, dates, and raisins have also become famous in grocery stores throughout the country. Number 8. A couple plants 300,000 love trees in the desert. Since 2017, a couple has participated in the ant forest program that was started by Alibaba and planted more than 300,000 love trees in a desert in the north of China. Despite the challenges they face, the pair remains committed to one another and continues to plant trees so that they can benefit more people. Number 7. Sea of Hope Desert the Kumbuki Desert, which is located in Inner Mongolia, is the seventh largest desert in China. It was originally referred to as the Sea of Death because birds had a hard time flying across it. The transformation of the desert into a verdant valley took more than three decades of laborious effort. 
It is now much easier to get around because of the construction of a number of motorways that run through the desert. Number 6. China Curbs Desertification China has achieved remarkable results in controlling sandstorms and reducing desertification, efforts that have been praised internationally. Statistics show that China has a total land area of more than 2.61 million square kilometers, which means that more than a quarter of the country's land is either unusable or has been eroded away by sand. Nevertheless, China has made significant headway in sand control and environmental protection as a result of initiatives that have been ongoing for decades to reduce the effects of desertification. According to the findings of the 6th National Monitoring of Desertification and Sandification, land is being degraded at an average rate of 2,424 square kilometers per year, which is equivalent to 1.5 times the size of London. This rate compares to an expansion rate of 10,400 square kilometers per year at the end of the last century. According to Yang Wenbin, China's success in taming the desert can be attributed to a number of things. To begin, the government of China has placed a high priority on halting the spread of desertification through afforestation and has invested a significant amount of money, manpower, and other resources toward this goal. Second, China has made significant strides in the development of different methods of combating desertification, such as paving straw checkerboard sand barriers and aerial seeding. For instance, during the past four decades, China's Three North Shelter Forest Program has resulted in the planting of about 7.88 million hectares worth of windbreak trees, as highlighted by Yang. Number 5. Shapodu in Ningxia To the north of the Yellow River is where you'll find the area that's known as the Shapotu Desert. This part of the Tanger Desert is the most southern part of the desert. In addition to that, Shapotu is home to singing sand, which can be heard throughout the desert. The great majority of tourists from within China travel to Shapotu each and every year throughout the entire year to admire and relish the typical and ordinary backdrop and setting, as well as to participate in a range of activities and deeds that are carried out all around the 100-meter high dunes. These activities and deeds include sandboarding, sand sculpting, sand skiing, and sandboarding. It has a width of 2,000 meters and a height that climbs above 100 meters at an angle of 60 degrees. Moreover, it has a height that rises above 100 meters. Additionally, its height exceeds 100 meters. When you are standing tall at the foot of the sand hills, you will be able to look up and easily notice the great picturesque scenery and what appears to be a waterfall. However, it is actually only sand that presents the precise view as though it is falling down directly from heaven. When you are standing tall at the foot of the sand hills, you will be able to gaze up and readily notice the wonderful picturesque scenery and what appears to be a waterfall. Number 4. Singing Sand Dunes and Crescent Moon Spring Sand that, when subjected to pressure, creates sounds regardless of the frequency of those sounds is referred to as singing sand. The sound emission is generally and most commonly caused by the violent wind that is passing over the edge of the dunes or by walking on the sand. Both of these activities generate sound emissions. The sounds of each of these activities can be heard throughout the entire region. The letting out of tension is the primary mechanism that causes the sound to be produced. The Crescent Moon Spring can be found around 4.5 kilometers to the south of Dunhuang City, which is located in the Gansu province of China. Since ancient and historical times, people all over the world have praised the breathtakingly beautiful place for what is known as the coexistence of mountain and spring together, with sand and water. This is the reason why the area is so admired. In addition to this, it is well known as the unique and exceptional scenery in the north of the Great Wall, and in the year 1994, it was scheduled and designated as one of the national key tourist attractions of the Great People's Republic of China. In addition, it is well known as the unique and exceptional scenery in the south of the Great Wall. The enormous and historically significant singing sand dunes surround and border the Crescent Moon Spring, which is roughly 300 meters in length and 50 meters broad. The spring is located in the middle of the desert. The poplar trees have been planted in such a way that it gives the impression that they are standing in style and grace alongside the spring and the fish that swim peacefully, as luck would have it. Number 3. Gurbantunga Desert in Xinjiang 
The Gurpantunga Desert can be found in the midst of the alluring Jungar Basin, which is located to the east of the Manas River and to the south of the breathtaking Ulungar River. Both of these rivers can be found on the Jungar Plateau. The beautiful Ulungar River is formed by the confluence of these two rivers. It is believed that the desert has a total size of approximately 48,800 square meters, and it is recognized as the second largest desert that can be found within the borders of China. The climate in this area is not especially harsh, and more precisely speaking, it would be more accurate to define it as mild. The eco-environment in this region is particularly vulnerable, and in recent years, the construction of a highway that traverses the desert, in addition to the influence that human activities have on that eco-environment, has become an increasingly critical issue. Number 2. Shahu Desert, Ningxia a location 56 kilometers east of Yinchuan is where you'll find the Shahu Desert. The uncommon natural biological phenomenon that is Shahu Lake in the desert can only be found in the desert ridden north of China. Reed marshes in the lake provide a natural habitat for an excess of 100,000 different animal species, making up more than 140 different families. Number 1. Badain Jiren Desert in Inner Mongolia the Badain Jiren Desert is the third biggest desert in China and is known for its exceptional and one-of-a-kind mountains, singing sand dunes, mysterious lakes, and legendary springs. Temples are also considered one of the desert's five outstanding attractions. The Badain Jiren Desert is widely known and considered to be the third largest desert in China and the fourth largest desert in the world. Its land spans 49,000 square kilometers, making it one of the largest deserts on the planet. The Araxan League in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region of North China is where it can be found. This breathtaking desert has an expansive size of 47,000 square kilometers. The sand dunes depict a spectacular and marvelous landscape. They provide the impression of a wide ocean with enormous and brilliant waves and high, antique, and legendary pagodas. This scene is truly breathtaking and marvelous. The Badain Jiren Desert is the birthplace of the largest and most prominent sand dunes in China, as well as the highest sand dunes in the world, with the relative height of the dunes ranging from approximately 200 to 500 meters. That's a wrap on the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.